If we're going on a fishing trip, I'd better prepare something warming. And so I've availed myself of the butleress to lead the way downstairs. Jean, you've spent most of your working life here yes. at school. I've been here now on 40 years, and I've had a lovely time and got on really, really well with the late Earl. You must have seen William growing up here. Oh, yes. And he has turned out a very nice young man, very much like his late grandfather. Now, That's a range and a half, isn't it? Yes, it's not in use anymore, but uh, it was, and the staff at that time had to get up at maybe five o'clock in the morning. I would think so. And <laughs> get it all warm for the cook coming in. And that was in Victorian times? Yes. And how many kitchen staff would be here in the heyday? Well, at that time there was 40 staff, 28 worked in the house itself, and then we had 12 for the horses. But when you came, how, how many were here? Five. Only oh, five? Mm. You must have been run off your feet. Yes, at times we were. <laughs> they call you the boss sometimes. Yes, William does. Does he? <laughs> yes. But now it's, I think it's time for you now to take over and well, do your well, little I, bit. I better be, get going. Yes. Let loose in this historic kitchen, I'm inspired to make a Scots classic. What better for a fishing trip than a warming broth? So, I've got a very nice chicken here, and I'm going to first of all cook the chicken. Then, I'm going to cook the vegetables in the stock that I make from the chicken. In the olden days, they used to put the whole lot in the pot and have the vegetables overcooked. But I like mine just done. So, to start, lift the whole bird into a large pan with a few bay leaves, season well, and add water. You really want to cover the chicken because it makes a lot of soup. Bring to the boil, then simmer the chicken for an hour and a quarter. Then leave aside to cool while you get on with the veg. I've got four leeks here that I've finely shredded. So in they go. Now that looks a, a lot of leeks, but they will lose their bulk as they're cooked. Then add a couple of carrots for color and a few sticks of celery. Now for the unusual ingredient, prunes. They're a classic for kokaliki, and north of the border, they always add prunes. Everything's in the pot now, and I'm going to simmer that until they're tender. And that'll be sort of 20 minutes, but keep your eye on it. That gives me time to get on with the chicken. So I've taken all the meat off, and then you have the two oysters either side. I reckon that's the cook's perk. And a bit of salt. That's pretty good. It's going to make a very good kokoriki soup. So let's have a look at that. There's still a little bite in the carrot. That's how I like it. So in goes all the chicken. It needs to be piping hot, and don't forget to check the seasoning. That's a bit of all right. I was a bit nervous of doing that because they have very high standards in the Mansfield household, but I think it'll do nicely. It's a thrill to be heading out with William and the family dog Pickles to the Tay. It's Scotland's longest river and world famous for the pursuit of the elusive king of fish, the magnificent wild Atlantic salmon. So how many have you actually landed in your life? Um, not as many as I would like, and it's quite tough. <laughs> Welcome. Good morning. Mary. Can I introduce you to my husband, Lord Matsu? Hello, how do you do? And this is Ian, our Gilly. Good morning. Mary. Good morning, Millie. Pleased to meet you. As Gilly, Ian Kirk runs all the fishing trips on the estate's seven-mile stretch of the Tay. Yeah. I may be empty-handed, but there's always a warming consolation of my cockaliki soup and good company. Gosh, that looks yeah, steaming and good. It's a long yours. time since breakfast. Mm. Oh, this is going to be So what 
was the biggest salmon that's ever been caught on the Tay out there? Oh, in the 1920s, there was one that was 64 pounds. It was caught by Miss Ballantyne, who was a, um, a slip of a girl. Was it shown to everybody? Oh, God, yes. It was, it was put on um, show in the Perth High Street. Uh, got Malox, the, yes, uh, the monster of the day. <laughs> if you were wading in that swam past you, you would come out the water. Certainly. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, this is very good soup indeed. My instinct is to rush off and look for some more, but I, I, I think probably stuff. we've eaten the lot. No, no, uh, there's more in the pot, I'm sure. Oh. Mm, which brings out the inner pig in me. <laughs> With the tay on their doorstep,